my hand just like pinged off the hole. Yeah, I thought for a while on this I would be able to do it, but part of me doubted I'd have the beans to try and fight through it. Like, I knew that move I kept falling off on the right hand Gaston up high was a hard move, but I knew I could stick it. I wasn't certain if I'd keep fighting through the moves after, because the moves after get progressively get easier, but they're big. They're like kind of low percentage power moves. Um, and I wasn't sure if I'd actually fight through that. I knew if I had I got myself psyched enough, I probably could, but, but I didn't know for certain. No, I'm good. Oh, well it's done. Intimidating. It is. Oh, well done, Orange. Well done. Hearts racing a bit. Orange just walked up, <laughs> strolled up, and cruised through this one that I was. Well, this is this is hard for me, but this is your warm up right now. Yeah. It's been a, it's the first block I've pulled on today. But it's been like four years since I tried it. Not as impressive as John's like 10, but forgot everything. And you're up here with the crew right now, doing yeah. a bunch of stuff. I'm here with a few friends at the moment and we're just, the goal was projecting. So we've been here over a week. We've ticked like three things between the four of us, I think so far. <laughs> but they're hard things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, mostly. Been a like couple other sort of things we've done throughout warming up and whatnot, and yeah, but, yeah, we've not done a lot. It's just been falling off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's climbing. Yeah, That's everyone climbing. thinks you just go around and tick stuff all the time, but it's like eighty percent failure. <laughs> What's what's your dream climb? What's your for this trip? My dream climb for this trip is new baseline. Yeah, I've had a few sessions on it now, done all the moves, made good links, being consistent with the moves I found hard before. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I sort of, I don't know if I want to do it yet, actually. Really? Yeah, like, obviously I do. It's, the process of like coming away to project is a new experience for me. I came away to tick things I know I can just do. Yeah in a session or two and this was coming out being like I don't know if I'm gonna do this it's just try it and see how it goes and experience the process <laughs> and it's been it's been really good but it's it's intimidating it's hard work walking up every time being like right, I'm going to try this climb to try and do the moves make links and make progress I don't feel like I've ever once walked up with this intention of I'm going to go do it today Maybe that's why I've not done it, but it sounds like you're describing like a beautiful meal that you just want to savor. Yeah, it's a really good climb. <laughs> it's really good. Is it fun to work something like that with someone else? Or I guess it depends on the day, maybe. But... It can depend on the day. <laughs> Some days it's frustrating. You just want to be doing it alone. Yeah. You don't want the added pressure of someone else there or someone greasing the holds or going on in between attempts but other times more often than not you can kind of like thrive off that hmm. companionship 
while yeah. working it. Yeah. I've had it, me and Francis Bensley have had a couple sessions on it and it's been good. We've made like real good progress. We're pretty much at the same high point. Um, yeah. It's just seeing how it goes. Yeah, I mean, your shoes are a bit different, but I yeah, go like outside sort of edge of the heel and like yeah. twist it in and you do a deep left flag. Yeah. And you get really, so as you pull on, you'll like crouch like here okay, okay. Um, to get it up and flag up this way. Okay, and then left hand. I'll go left, like, so line with the tick. Yeah. So kind of almost gastoning a bit. Okay. And you get sat into that position. And you want to come hand over, bit. but like, imagine you're kind of like caressing this groove as much okay. as possible so you can get your thumb in and hands almost in. Then I go like left foot, right toe, yeah. match, in again to this. Yeah. Then the toe stays there. To toe stays up. there, hard shoulder move. Okay. And then depending on style, some people just hop their foot and take the cut, try not to dab on the rock. Yeah. I stretch a foot, match, left foot, right toe hook. Yeah. Into up this. Once, up again. Um, deep right flag. Yeah. Right hand, right toe, left toe in side pull okay. match feet left on to this little bit yeah. and you do like whoosh, into the block it's not a jug but it's basically a jug for the yeah. climb and then i've been going like right on to this there's a side pull out left you get it it's not great um then right toe on the crimp and just wang for the jug okay well i'm probably not going to get that far. i'd suggest like fill the holds a bit with a bit short first yeah. just so you know where you want to Yeah, probably there. And then there. It's all about where you let your body position hang. Is it that? Yeah, it's a pretty toss. You get middle finger on it. I go, yeah, like that. that. And the pinky. Oh, yeah, that's loads better. Nothing. And the pinky's on nothing. Yeah, for me. And then. In various manner. Yeah. Best bit is on top, okay. and then there's the toe hook. Yeah, yeah. Like makes a huge there. difference. Yeah. After I just mang them. This one's sharp. But good. Yeah. Okay. Depends. What? I'm gonna pull on. Depends the definition of good, I guess. <laughs> deep flag. Deep flag. What? I can't flag any deeper. Inspiration. <laughs> Did you get it? My God. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm like, cloud nine right now. Feel good. Yeah. Like a dream line. Doesn't get better. I had a goal this year. It was three eight B pluses in the year, and day five, January fifth, did the first, and then did another later on. And now, just near the end of the year, I've got the third done. So that's the goal. Yes. Goal achieved. Now to exceed it. And you did. Uh, abroad as well. Abroad is always better. Always harder. And not a link up. Amazing. Legend. You're <laughs> Legend. One, if you're gonna do one, that's the one, right? Yeah. What a line. Good effort, man. You thought you'd have to come back too, right? I I was prepared to come back. The plan was to just work at this trip, project it, and I've never gone away with the intention of 
projecting before, it's always been like, right, what climbs can I do in a session or two? And do all of them. Um, and so it was a new experience to come in project. I was prepared to walk away empty handed without it. And this is your last to day to. too, right? Last full day of climbing, we fly home tomorrow. <laughs> Does this mean you have to leave shoes behind? Maybe. <laughs> I may or may not have brought some up in anticipation oh! to angle. Can you tell people what the tradition is if they don't know it? So, I mean, I think there's been some talk about stopping it, but the tradition as far as I'm aware is almost everyone who's sent new baseline hangs a pair of shoes up on the tree behind us. And it's just kind of, it's kind of a cool little thing really. Like, yeah. I think everyone who comes by and sees it, it's like, what's that? And they find out, it's like, oh, wow all the people that have done this line and it for sure like is probably the best in magic it's one of the best in magic but i've not done all of them here but i'm pretty confident it's the best word <laughs>Hi everyone, thanks for watching this episode. This is the last one from the Magic Wood Trip and it almost didn't happen and I gotta thank Oren for that because a lot of the footage you watched in this was from Oren himself. He was videotaping himself through his progress of trying to do new baseline. And it was kind of one of those situations of being in the right place at the right time because we were at another climb, we were about to film John Parcher's doing Fight Club and we heard this scream or cry, whatever it was, up in the hills and we knew it was Oren and we knew he had just done new baseline because he'd been projecting it for the last two weeks. So we, we ran up there and sure enough, he just finished it. And then I asked him, I asked him if he would jump back on so we can get a couple more shots from different angles just to see. And he did like 10 or 15 minutes after doing it. And right away he got through the hardest section again and was at his highest point. He was actually laughing through it because he'd been working so hard on it and he just finished it and pretty much did it again. And then he came down for maybe 20 seconds, did a couple moves into it and finished it again. It was, it was mind blowing to watch. It's an impressive to see. So thank you again to Oren. Go check out his YouTube channel. He's got lots of amazing sends on there. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.